Alright, hey YouTube, what's up? This is I Tutorials, and coming at you with another tutorial today. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make any, a, a simple board such as this one in uh, Photoshop. Alright, I'm using version CS4, but you don't have to have that version. It doesn't really, you know, matter um, what version you have for this. This is a very simple, uh, easy way to make a border. Um, this is going to be, I bet, this is one of the quickest and fastest ways I know how to make one. So, just, um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and here goes. So, this is how it's going to look when you're done with it, like this. Now, so you want, instead of the white inside, you want to it to be black, and you could do that on your own. It's the same method, but you just got to switch up the colors, so. Or any, or any other color for that matter, you could just switch it up, and just, if in the case that you don't want the colors that I, I like black and white for the border, but in the case that you don't want, oh, one second here. In the case I don't want that for the border, then that's fine. Just choose your own colors. All right, so I'm gonna just gonna go and undo all this and go back to my original photo that I had originally. All right, here's I have here's the picture. All right, it's it's locked over here in the latest tab. It's locked. Now, um, this is how it's gonna look when you open an image. You go to File, Open, Open an Image. It's gonna be locked. So to unlock, you have to double click, double click it. Let's say you don't, you don't have a layers palette. For some odd reason, go to View, oh my bad, Window, and then Layers. Click that, or F7. Double click that in the Layers tablet, and then it's going to come up this little screen like this. Click OK, and it should unlock it. And once you've got that set, right click that, click Blending Options. A screen like this should pop up, and then go to Stroke, check that. And for the stroke, I'm going to make it white. Now, this is, this is the part where you can choose your own colors. This is going to be the inner border, not the outer one, by the way, just so you can know. Anyways, so I'm going to make it 16 pixels and make it 16. Now you can choose whatever you want for that, but for me, I would go with 16. For the position, make it inside and blend mode, normal, past the 100%. Fill color, you know, whatever. So this is, like I said, this is the part where you can choose your own color, whatever you want. But you know, I'm said I'm like I said I'm going for white. All right, so click OK, then OK again, and you've got this. Now what you want, want to do is you want to go over here and click this little icon here. Click it. That makes sorry I clicked it twice. My bad. It makes a new layer. Drag that layer below the original layer. Now click that, and I'm going to name it the border because this is the actual outer border, which I'm going to be making black. If you saw in the example I showed you, as we keep at the beginning of the tutorial. Um, so yeah, make sure you drag that and it's below the actual image layer. Okay, I'm just naming it. You don't have to name it. I'm just doing it for your own um, to not you know for your own learning convenience. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, it doesn't matter what layer you clicked on, but I prefer clicking on the outer border so you don't have to switch layers after you're done because you'll see what I'm going to talk about. So just just be clicked on the outer border layer, but it doesn't really matter. Go to image and then canvas size. Make sure, very important, make sure you're going to canvas size and not image size. It's very important. Canvas size, okay? Now, here's the original width and height. Make sure you're dealing with inches and not pixels or centimeters or percent. You know, make sure it's inches. And here's a tip. Do not mess with the numbers after the decimal point. Me don't mess with this number right here, the 5, or don't mess with the 3, the 7. Don't mess with the seven, three, or six. Don't mess with those numbers. Just mess with ones before. Okay. I I'm gonna be adding an inch border all around. So in order to do that, for the width, I have to make add an inch to both sides. So I'm gonna be doing. Well, it's actually gonna be half an inch because of the fact that I'm dividing it. So if you want an inch, you have to add two inches. If you if you want an inch all around, you have to add two inches. So. For the width, instead of being 44, I'm going to change it to 46 because I'm adding 2. Do not mess with the 0.5, just leave it at that. And instead of being 28.736, it's going to be 30 because I'm adding 2.736. And make sure that the anchor position, that this little white square, this is representing your image, is in the middle, and all the errors are on the outer of the image, of the, I mean, of the little white square. Click OK and give it a second here. And it's gonna make a it's gonna be transparent see, all around, like that. Now make sure you click on the outer border layer, grab the fill bucket tool. Let's say in, in for the chance that you have the in case you have a gradient instead of the fill bucket, you gotta click right click that and click paint bucket. 
So you just right click, okay? Then make black your, fore your foreground color, fill it in, click it anywhere in the it doesn't matter because you're on this. And there you go, nice snazzy little border. That's kind of the tutorial. Um, what I like to do sometimes is, in the fact that, like, let's say I'm going to add my iTutorials logo in the image, okay? Let me just type it in here. Let's say I'm just going to add, I'm going to type, because I don't want, you know, let's say it's, I'm, I'm putting this image on the internet, and I don't want, let me just drag this, I don't want someone to just take my image and call it their own. So I'm going to, I'm going to put a watermark or whatever on it, my thing on it. Okay, and the fact that I want to do that, make it white. In fact, I want to do that. Um, And let's say I don't want to have the viewers. I let's say I don't want to have the viewers of attention distracted, but from the image by putting this in the image and just you know lowering the opacity. So I want to have it on the border so it won't affect the image and but it's, I will still have it in the picture. What you can do is um, make sure you're clicking on the outer border layer or yeah, go to image canvas size and. Make sure you click the top arrow and the top arrow only. Click that. So you've got three blank squares here, the blank square here, and then arrows all around right here. And you're going to add, you're only going to mess with the height, nothing else. You're, you're going to add one inch. Click OK. And it's going to add an inch right below. Take the fill bucket tool and I'm going to fill that in. Make sure I'm on obviously on the outer border layer. I'm going to grab the text. And I'm going to put that right here, like so. And that's it. That's basically, that's basically it. And so that way, that this is not affecting the actual image, and the viewer's attention on the image isn't you know distracted by the text, but you still have got the text on the image. Now that's your choice. You don't have to. You just keep it in a normal border like I showed you earlier. You can just keep this. You don't have to do that whole thing. You can just keep that. That's fine. But, yep, that's the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Please, P.S., please uh, send me some requests for tutorials. I'll gladly accept them. See you guys later.